Okay, today I'm going to be spinning a fidget spinner in the microwave. So if you haven't seen my other videos yet, I figured out how to film inside the microwave and so you don't get this annoying mesh in front of it and you can see very clearly what's happening inside the microwave, it's really neat. So I thought I'd try a fidget spinner. So a fidget spinner by itself isn't gonna do much in the microwave. That's because there's no jagged edges to the metals and also it's pretty thick metal so any currents that are induced in there, all it's gonna do is slightly heat up the metal. But since it's thick, it will be able to take it so it won't start any fires. At most, it will kind of heat up the plastic and it might melt the plastic a little but there probably won't be any sparking. So in order to get it to spark, I'm going to be putting some mylar on it. So I'm going to be putting mylar on the fidget spinner. So mylar is plastic that has a thin layer of metal on it. You probably know of mylar balloons, that's how you recognize mylar. It works well in the microwave because it's very thin metal and so it sparks really easy. So I'm gonna put that on the fidget spinner. So before I do the mylar, let's just stick a normal fidget spinner in the microwave and make sure that nothing happens. Nothing's happening. So it's slightly warm, but other than that, nothing really happened. Okay, now let's try it with the Mylar. This should be awesome. Okay, let's get it spinning. Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, so that is what it looks like if you add a little bit of thin metal in there. Luckily, I took some cool slow motion shots of a different take before this one because my fidget spinner is toast now. What's really cool in this slow motion is this fidget spinner is a glow-in-the-dark fidget spinner and you can see whenever the sparks happen, you can see it glow in the dark after the spark. It stays lit for a long time after, it's really neat. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you think of any ideas that you wanna see me do, let me know in the comments section. If you have any questions, also you can ask me in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And if you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time.